Hey guys, what is it that we're playing again? Why are we just sitting in this random house? Today we're playing some Minecraft horror maps, Joe. I still have that bet with Donald about whether or not any of these are going to be able to scare him. You are so going to lose that bet, Barack. There is literally no way that something as stupid as a damn Minecraft map is going to be able to threaten the big D Trump. I'm pretty sure that you are underestimating just how scary these maps can get, Donald. With command blocks and resource packs, you can basically make an entirely different game inside of Minecraft nowadays. Wait, so you're telling me that this isn't another survival series? I thought that we were going to be making another challenge series. Joe, there literally aren't any more challenges for us to try. We have literally run through all of them by this point. Oh, that is so not true, Donald. We could still try doing Survival Island. That one is still pretty cool, right? Joe, Survival Island hasn't been cool since 2010. How about we just focus on the map that we are playing right now? It looks like our character is- ah! Oh my God, it's the scary computer screen. Jesus fucking Christ, can this thing just shut up already? This thing is actually bursting my goddamn eardrums. Do all computers sound like this? Oh, it stopped. Thank God. I think I can feel the blood pouring out of my ears after that shit. What the hell do we do now, anyway? All that's happened so far is that we got reminded of how dog shit our computer is. Hold on a second, Donald. I think that I'm getting a call. No, Joe, it's just the map. Apparently our girlfriend, Winnie, is waiting for us. Oh, hello, my dearest Winnie. How are you doing today? Why does all of the text in this map sound like it's been run through Google Translate like 15 different times? What the hell does this guy mean by, I'll be here in 16 minutes? It doesn't really help that he then immediately goes and says that he'll buy home for two hours. What in the actual fuck does that mean? Wait, why is everything black? Oh no, did I smell too much of the funny flower again? Oh, I don't want to go ending up in that old house again. That place was seriously dirty. Don't worry, Joe. It's just a transition between areas. Are you sure, Barack? Because I also usually end up waking up in forests whenever I do anything like that. I am sure, Joe. Wait, where's Winnie? I thought the whole reason that we were here was so that we could meet up with her. Did she seriously just fucking stand us up? Well, joke's on her. Does she seriously think that the big D Trump can't just replace her with someone that is 10 times hotter? Uh Guys, why is the music getting so intense? What is going on? Don't worry about it, Joe. Ah! Oh my God, I'm so unbelievably worried right now. Where the hell even are we? Why are there so many fucking doors everywhere? I don't know, Donald, but it is seriously creeping me out. Do you think that there's anything behind these doors? Well, I can't seem to open any of them. I guess there must just be a specific area that we need to go to in order to progress. Can you see anything, Barack? No, Donald, I can't see anything. I hate to say it. But do you guys think that there might just be one random door somewhere that we're able to open? That can't be what's happening, Barack. That would probably be the single worst instance of map design literally ever. Five minutes later. Ooh, oh my God, I found it. It was just some random door that I could open. This is the single worst designed map that I have ever played. Maybe it'll get better, Donald. Let's just see what's going on in this next section. At the very least, there doesn't look to be any more doors in this bit. Well, that had better be the damn case, Barack. This door here had better have something good. Wait, there's nothing here. What the hell? Wait, really? Oh no, you guys don't think that we're trapped here, do you? I have absolutely no idea, Joe. Maybe we need to go back to where we came in. Maybe opening this door has activated something back there. You might just be right on that one, Donald. This map seems to have a serious love for blacked out doors. Not to mention all of the blacked out windows everywhere. What the hell is this place even supposed to be? Are we in the void or something? Oh, there's a new door here. Yet another example of the big D Trump being right at literally everything that he has ever touched. Wait, what just happened to you guys? The entire room that you were in is just filled with black. I think that's just because we're in some kind of void at the moment, Joe. This map loves cutting to black almost as much as it loves doors. Where the hell has it taken us now? Why does this remind me of something you would see in a 2010's fake hero brine sighting video? How the fuck am I supposed to know, Barack? It was your dumb idea to play this map. So far, it is looking like you might need to sell some of those drones if you have any chance of making good on that bet. 
We have literally only just made it to the title screen for the map, Donald. Besides, we still have another one to play after this. Can we make sure that the next map we play isn't so dark? Not being able to see what is five feet in front of me is seriously giving me the creeps. Joe, if you started playing Minecraft horror maps without any expectations of being scared, then that is your own damn fault. That is a little hypocritical, don't you think, Donald? I guess if you're admitting that they are scary, then we can go ahead and declare me the winner of the bet right now. Nice try, Barack. I was only saying that to Joe because of the fact that I have literally seen him get scared by the Teletubbies before. Oh, come on, Donald. Are you seriously going to tell me that you don't find those things creepy at all? Their pokey ears and TV stomachs are just downright unnatural. The only thing that is unnatural in that situation is you, Joe. The fact that you are still clinging to life despite having been around to see the Iron Age is the creepiest thing that I have seen all day. Don't go speaking too soon, Donald. We still have another 50 minutes for me to win that bet. Can we please just focus on getting through this maze at the moment? I really don't like being in the dark for this long. It makes me feel like something is going to jump out and get me at any moment. Aha! Well, you're in luck then, Joe. I am pretty sure that I just found the end of the maze. Wait, why the hell am I back at the beginning again? Oh, for fuck's sake, Barack. Did you just reset all of our progress? Are we seriously going to have to do that entire fucking thing again? Calm down, Donald. I remember where I went to make it to the end. Maybe if I do it one more time, then it will actually take us somewhere different. But what if they change where the end of the maze is? What if they just keep us trapped here forever? Oh, no. Please don't let them keep me here, Barack. I don't think that my frail little heart could take it. Joe, it's a fucking Minecraft map. If you seriously think that it is going to keep us here, then we can literally just leave whenever we want. But don't you think that the spirits will end up getting angry with us for leaving early and ruining their plans? I don't want to be rude to them, you know. I would hate it if I upset them in any way. The spirits can suck the entirety of my left testicle, Joe. What the hell is a Minecraft ghost supposed to do anyway? What's he going to do? Spawn a fucking skeleton outside my workplace? All right, well, we finally made it back to the hole. Wait. Oh, for fuck's sake. Again? This is honestly just getting ridiculous at this point. You see, guys, this is exactly what I was talking about. What if we've upset the spirits of this map somehow? What if they're not going to let us leave anymore? What if they do start spawning skeletons outside of our workplace? Well, considering the fact that your workplace is the fucking White House, Joe, I am pretty sure that you are going to be absolutely fine. If the government sees a skeleton magically appear outside of the White House, then it would be grinded down to ash within literal microseconds from all of the gunfire. Maybe you're right, Barack. I really just don't like the idea of anything bad happening to me. Ah! Oh my God, something bad is happening to me. What in the actual fuck was that supposed to be? Was that Jeff the fucking killer? He hasn't been a creepy pasta in like 10 years. What the hell happened? I went somewhere else in the maze, so I just heard the scream, and that was it. There was this really big and scary face, Donald. Oh, it was so awful. I nearly had another accident. Oh, I would have hated to make the maid so disappointed in me again. What the fuck is that noise supposed to be? Is that supposed to be creeping me out? Because if that's the case, then this map is doing a pretty fucking dog shit job of it. Ah! Oh my God, it's strawberry jam. Joe, I am pretty sure that was blood, not strawberry jam. Ah! Oh my God, it was blood. Are you seriously that easy to be scared, Joe? It was literally just a wall with some blood on it. I've seen creepier things at fucking Disneyland. Oh, please don't go reminding me of that place, Donald. That creepy mouse thing left me with nightmares for weeks. Joe, I refuse to believe that you got scared by fucking Disneyland. That place is made so that literal toddlers are never scared. Oh, come on, Barack, we all have our phobias. Mine just so happened to be surrounding mice with big ears. Why the hell are we back at the PC room again anyway? What the hell are we going to solve by playing some fucking Minesweeper? Ooh, ooh, maybe we could subscribe to our own channel on this guy's computer. That's a pretty good idea, Joe. Ah! Oh my God, I'm sorry. I won't subscribe, I swear. Not a damn chance, Joe. We are getting our asses to 200K no matter how many smiley-eyed freaks get in our way. All right, well, what the hell are we supposed to be doing now? Wait, 
Guys, look, there's a door over in the corner now. I guess we just have to head over that way. Well, I am just going to take some more of these flowers. You can never have enough greenery, you know. Oh, and here we go again with the fucking cut to black. This had better not lead to some dumb maze again. Wait, what's going on? Who the hell is that? Apparently it's Wenny, wearing one of the most generic e-girl skins that I have ever fucking seen. Wait, Wenny? Wasn't that this guy's girlfriend? Oh no, what happened to you, Wenny? I knew you were such a beautiful little thing. Wait, oh, you have got to be fucking kidding me. Another one of these fucking door sections? Was it not bad enough the first time? Okay, now this map is starting to get seriously annoying. Let's just press our faces against every door until we manage to find whichever one is the real one. This is so unbelievably dumb. Ooh, I found it. Come on, guys. Oh, you have got to be fucking kidding me. Wait, there's just more doors? Is this some kind of sick joke? Is this entire map just going to be a long mesh of fucking doors? Oh, man. Please don't tell me that we're just going to be locked here. I don't want to get stuck in this door prison just because of these spirits. Joe, we're not fucking stuck in here. In a minute, I will probably end up blowing all of these stupid fucking doors right out of the sky. This dog shit ass map is going to make me look at literally every door in life with nothing but complete and total anger. Oh, please don't go blowing these doors up, Donald. I really don't want to go angering the spirits here any more than we already have. I don't want to go making them any more mad with us than they already are. What the hell does this sign say? You're on the wrong way. What in the actual fuck does that mean? Barack, you might have just picked the most dog shit map in the history of all dog shit maps. Yeah, I am starting to think that you actually might be right on that one, Donald. I swear to God. If this map tries making us play another fucking door section, then I think I might just rather forfeit the bet than finish this piece of shit. Oh, come on, guys. Give it at least a little bit of credit. I'm sure that whoever made this map worked really hard on it. Joe, this map was probably made by a four-year-old with no arms over the course of an afternoon. This map is one of the biggest pieces of dog shit ever. How long is it going to make us run around in circles anyway? This map is just one big ploy to waste as much of your time as is physically possible. What the hell is this supposed to be? Wait, Annie and James, is that us? Is this map trying to tell us that we're fucking dead? Oh no, please don't let me be dead. I still have so much left to live for. Joe, you ran out of things to live for like 300 years ago. <laughs> what in the actual Jesus fucking Christ was that? Aha, I got you. You got scared by a Minecraft map, Donald. I so did not, you asshole. That jump scare was cheap as hell and you know it. You can cope all you want, Donald, but that isn't going to change the fact that you owe me a million dollars. Fine, whatever, asshole. But that isn't going to change the fact that it still wasn't scary, even in the slightest. Okay, well, what do we do now? I have absolutely zero fucking clue, Joe. The computer isn't doing anything and I can't open the front door either. Well, there isn't anything inside of the closet. We can be absolutely sure of that. The only thing in the closet here is you, Joe. But if there isn't anything that we can interact with anywhere, then what the hell are we supposed to do? Maybe we just have to wait for the... Well, I guess that answered my question for me, didn't it? Ah! What is going on? Why is the music getting so loud? Are we going to be seeing more from that Winnie bitch or something? I'm not sure, Donald, but it sure is trying its damn hardest to make us think that something is going to happen here. Oh, man, I really hope nothing bad happens. Ah! Oh, thank God, it's just the lights. Wait, we're just straight back to the exact same fucking room. Not the exact same one, Donald. The front door is open now. But why the hell is the outside now completely made of stone? Is this supposed to be some kind of asylum room? Or maybe it's some kind of tomb? Oh man, there's so much blood everywhere. Oh, I hope that whoever's blood this is are all right. Forget about whoever's blood this is, Joe. It's looking like we might be the ones that aren't all right. Are we just completely forgetting about the fact that we saw our own fucking gravestone? Ah! Why is everything black all of a sudden? Oh my fucking God, you've got to be absolutely fucking kidding me. More doors? Oh, this map is a total load of steroid-infused horse shit. Don't worry, Donald. I think that I have figured out the pattern. I'm pretty sure that no matter how many doors that there are, it is always the very last door that can be opened. I couldn't give any less of a shit about if there's some kind of extremely lazy pattern behind the doors, Joe. It is still a complete fucking waste of my time, and I am going to be suing this map creator for literally everything that he is worth. 
Wait, is this literally just the exact same door area from like two minutes ago? I am pretty sure that we were literally here just a second ago. Yeah, there's the dumbass sign that we saw right before we got jump scared. Oh man, you don't think that we're gonna get jump scared again, do you? Of course not, Joe. There wouldn't be this massive fucking void area if we were just going to get teleported to a jump scare again. Where the hell is this supposed to go anyway? Oh, I am pretty sure that I just found where it goes, Donald. Oh boy, this is seriously spooky. You guys don't think that anything bad actually happened here, do you? Well, considering the fact that there is literally a bunch of blood and skeletons all over the ground, Joe, I am willing to bet that they weren't exactly playing hopscotch here. But maybe they were playing something else, right? Maybe some tag or some dodgeball. Joe, they're literally all fucking dead. I don't exactly think that any of the people here are still alive, considering that they left their goddamn heads lying on the floor. Ah! Everything is black again. Do you guys think that the spirits are trying to get us next? They can fucking try, Joe. They would have to go through my epic ninja moves before that could ever happen. Literally, no one has ever survived a fight against the ridiculously powerful Big D Trump. Why are we in a library all of a sudden? Oh, why does it have to be so dark, too? It just feels like something is going to pop out at me at any point. Well, I can't blame you considering that the last time we were in a maze like this, something actually did just pop out at random. Oh, you two are just total pansies. If something were to try and pop out at me at random, then I would just beat the ever-living crap out of it. That is pretty big talk for someone who was screaming like a little girl over what was basically the exact same jump scare earlier. That one doesn't count, Barack. That one was cheap and bullshit and you know it. I don't know why you hate admitting that you got scared so much, Donald. I admit whenever I get scared all of the time, it really doesn't affect me all of that much, you know? The difference here is that you don't have a million fucking dollars wagered on whether or not you're scared, Joe. Don't you go thinking that you haven't already lost that bet, Donald. I'm going to be expecting to see an extra million in my bank account by the time that we stop recording today. Do, do I need to pay you a million for every time that I was scared too? No, Joe. I mean, you're more than welcome to give me a million for every time that you get scared if you really want to. But it was only Donald that made the bet with me, so you don't got to worry about it. Oh, that is such a relief. I was starting to think that I might have had to go without any ice cream for a couple days in order to afford that. Wait, a couple days? Joe, how much exactly do you spend on ice cream every day? Uh, I don't know. I never really keep count. I am not much of a math guy, you know? Well, if you had to guess how much you spend on an average day, then how much would it be? Uh, probably somewhere around the $2 million mark, if I had to guess. What the fuck? Joe, how in the ever-living fuck do you spend $2 million a day on ice cream? That's almost as much as I spend on McDonald's. Wait, almost? Donald, how in the actual fuck are you spending more than $2 million a day on McDonald's? I really like McDonald's, Barack, and don't you fucking dare judge me for it. The fact that you guys aren't dead yet is an actual work of God. Ooh, I found it. I found the end of the maze. Finally. If I spent any longer wandering around dark bookshelves, then I think I might have just actually lost my damn mind. Wait, you didn't lose yours yet? I gave mine up years ago. We can tell, Joe. Oh, you have got to be kidding me. Oh my God, what is it with this map and these fucking doors? Oh well, maybe there is some kind of significance to them, guys. Maybe there is some kind of deep lore here and all of these doors have something to do with it. Joe, the only lore here is that we're fucking dead. That's not deep. That's just the basis for a pyrocynical video. Nice pop culture reference, Donald. Ah! Wait, why is it telling us to run? I don't know, Joe, but are you really wanting to stick around to find out? Oh, hell nah. We are getting the ever-living fuck out of here right goddamn now. When something tells you to run, you fucking run. You're not gonna catch me arguing with you, Barack. I'm getting right the fuck out of here. Hey, wait up for me, Barack. I don't want to get caught by that thing either. Not a chance, Joe. You get right the fuck back here. You are going to be the bait for us to use so that we can escape. That is your only function right now. Well, it looks to me like you're the one in last place at the moment, Donald. If any of us are to get caught at the moment, then it is definitely going to be you. Boo! I bet you weren't expecting that now, were you? How long is this haul gonna be? It feels like- ah! Oh my God, it's Big Scary Face Guy. Wait, so was there anything even chasing us at all? I'm not sure, Donald. At the very least, though, it doesn't look like we're dead quite just yet. 
What in the actual fuck are you talking about, Barack? I've never seen a map try this hard to remind us at every turn that we've actually been dead this whole time. Do I really have to make the pyro head joke again? Well, at least if you do that, then we might end up coming off as though we have actual artistic value, just like Gex. Wait, why is the music player playing carnival music? Ooh, does this mean that we get to go to the carnival? Oh, I love carnival so much. I would absolutely love to go there right now. Joe, we have been playing this map for the last 20 minutes. Do you really think that this map has even a shred of fun within it? Because with how it's been going so far, there is absolutely no way that there is going to be something that involves even just the smallest amount of fun like a carnival. I'm honestly almost jealous of the main character by this point. At least he gets to be dead so that he doesn't have to go through all of the same bullshit that this dumbass map is putting us through at the moment. Damn, Donald, you good? It almost started to sound like you were getting upset. Trust me, Barack. The only thing that is upsetting me right now is just how uncomparably bored that I am because of this boring ass map. Next time, I am going to be the one picking the maps. I think that I would rather listen to Joe talk about ice cream for 20 minutes straight rather than play this fucking thing. Ooh, does that mean that I can go talking about ice cream now? Don't you fucking dare, Joe. I'm already having to play this fucking map. Don't you dare go making it any more insufferable than it already is. Ooh, what's happening now? Why are we just back at the house again? Was it all a dream again? This is definitely not the same house, guys. Look, there's a whole other bedroom over here and the closet has some kind of hallway inside of it. Donald, what have we told you about being in the closet? You know that you would lose voters if it ever got out? Oh, shut the fuck up, Barack. You fucking wish that you could get a piece of the big D, Trump? Most people spend their entire lives just to get the slightest chance with someone as awesome as me. Ooh, guys, I found a chest. Oh, hell yeah. It's got a damn pickaxe in here. What the hell am I supposed to use it on, though? Oh, I remember seeing some iron bars covering the closet in the other bedroom. I think that we're supposed to go back over there and use the pickaxe to break the iron bars. Joe, you seriously do not want to go and start a fight with me now? I am the only one here who has an actual weapon. I must say they sure did give it to the right person. Whatever demon is going to be trying to get a piece of us next is going to have a piece of themselves be forcefully taken out with this fucking thing. Well, why don't we just focus on getting a piece of that iron bar taken out for the moment? At this point, I kind of just want to finish this map so that we can hopefully go on and play a map that doesn't have 50,000 doors within the first 30 seconds of playtime. Well, there's just another of these. Wait, never mind, I guess. Looks like we're just going to go with a fade to black instead of another sit and listen to music section. I swear to God, if this next section is actually just another door section, then I'm actually going to lose my damn mind. Well, Donald had better go and check first. Lord knows I really don't think that I could handle another one of those jump scares right about now. Those things are so damn scary. Joe, the jump scares on this map are weak as fuck. They are literal 2010-style screamers. Those things have been scary in like 10 years. Donald, I think that you have kind of revoked your right to say that at this point. I've heard them make you scream at least two times now. Oh, shut the fuck up, Barack. Wait, why is there just a random elevator in here? Since when did this map turn into that one really cool GM mod game mode? Oh, I know what you're talking about, Donald. That shit was fucking awesome. Oh boy, I wonder where we're going. Wait, why the hell are we back in the computer room? I thought that this room was connected to the bedroom. Oh, this isn't even making any sense. Oh, I am so confused. Joe, have you just completely fucking forgotten about the entirety of the goddamn fever dream that is this map? Not a single thing has made sense for the entire episode so far. The only thing that stayed consistent are those fucking doors. Why is there just a random rose over there? Is this map trying to seem like it's got some kind of deep lore by putting poppies and doors everywhere? Funnily enough, I don't think that we're going to be seeing a game theory on this map anytime soon. Holy crap, we're finally back outside. I'll take literally anything over seeing the exact same goddamn void texture over and over again, even if its replacement is just some shitty cobblestone graves. Wait, graves? Oh no, you don't think that something bad happened here, do you? Joe, it's a literal fucking graveyard. Of course something bad happened here. I couldn't give any less of a crap about what happened here. The only thing that I want to know right now is what the hell it is that we're supposed to be doing in order to progress. 
I want to get this map over and done with as soon as is physically possible. Well, there doesn't exactly seem to be anything that we can interact with. I haven't seen any iron bars either. Maybe there's some secret button somewhere or something. I'm trying my hardest to find something, Barack. Is this supposed to be the end of the map or something? There's nothing here. Ah! Oh, for fuck's sake, are you actually kidding me? That was the fucking end of the map. Oh, screw this shitty fucking map. Yeah, that one sucked ass. Let's hope that the next one doesn't have any more door sections for us. Just get us in the next damn map already. All right, I am loading it up now. I just checked under the goddamn vehicle, and there seems to be no bomb planted underneath it, which is a bit of a disappointment since we, the presidents, are going to ride it. Is my head not that worthy at all? Just hurry up and get in her already. Although this is not the first class limo that I always get picked up during my very important presidential meetings, but it'll do. More importantly, why are you looking for bombs? Yes, yeah, something is definitely wrong with you today, Donald. Like big time wrong, ha ha. Why are you looking for smoke? What the hell did you watch before playing with us? You know, just the usual. Some John Wick and the Mission Impossible series that I always love to binge watch. And just where the hell are we going? This path better not lead me to my dead dog or something. I doubt that will happen, and I don't know what the hell you're talking about. But I hope the worst thing you could ever imagine happens to you. Where the hell is our driver anyways? I thought you were the driver. I mean, considering that you actually kind of look like one. And hey, I found a treehouse here. I wonder what's up here. Wow, really? All of that for this? What the hell can I even see from here? Nothing. What the fuck? That was a complete waste of our time trying to figure shit out up there. We couldn't even see anything like buildings or something. I need to climb up the a kid top. probably made that for fun and we just dissed it. I Sorry, whoever might be the, the owner top. of that. Whoa, 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 whoa holy shit. I thought one of you was speaking to me inside my head and was telling me what the hell to and not to do. That was trippy as fuck. I guess we have to climb up the tower? I don't know, I forgot. What the hell does he want from us anyways? We already climbed up here earlier and we are seeing nothing, bro. Blood must be trolling us, watching us from a distance or something. Maybe we have to keep jumping so that our FBI and NASA agents can see us with the use of our privately owned satellite because our damn limo broke down and our driver ditched us. Somebody please help us. Yeah, hell no, that ain't gonna work. I just know it. We already climbed up there. And this is actually kind of cool this time. I mean, it has voice acting on it. This must be a great game. Hopefully, please don't jinx us. It's already starting on the wrong foot for me. I mean, it just told us to climb up here and nothing is happening. They could have done a bit better in the storytelling criteria for me to judge. And who the hell made you the judge for this game? I chose this map because I saw it on TikTok with kids like kindergarten age reacting to it and playing it. It's actually fun, I think. Wait, is this the right one? Whoa, why the hell did no one tell me that Joe was the one that picked this game? That actually explains a lot, and what the fuck do you want? What tower? We already climbed up there. Climb what more do you want from me? I mean, you didn't ask earlier, Donald, so I just assumed that you knew already. And this has been the third time that we've been climbing up here. Something better give us a hint on where we need to go. Yeah, and how the hell is that my fault? I mean, I have never been at fault in my entire life, so I don't know how that feels, but we clearly need to blame the both of you for choosing this shitty-ass climb up the tower game. We're already up here. What the heck does it want from us? I tried to sprint far away from the tower, but the game just won't let me. Tell us what the heck to do, bro. We have to get out of here quick. I need me some ice creams. Okay, you know what? This game is actually as rigged, just like the election. Is this why you chose this game for us, Sleepy Joe? Just to have a low-key suggestion that everything has been rigged from the start to end? I get it now. Bro, you really have to start your moving on phase because you're way too much for me right now. Like, come on, that was years ago. You should really put an end to it and let it be. Shut the fuck up. I think I'm almost out I of this damn forest. Oh, wait, tower. no, I guess not. What the fuck is this game doing to me? It's making me crazy. And no Barack, I'd rather die than accept that rigged election. This game must be broken or something. It literally wants us to keep climbing up this tower of nothing over and over again. Come on, bro, let us play. Give me something good. I can't keep scouting this place like this. Maybe that is what it wants us to do. Maybe it's part of a big plot that we have something to do in the ending of this map. Like this is all a loop or a nightmare or some shit. Come on, shut the fuck up, Barack. You better stop with your mouth and keep those suggestions off from the game devs because those are the I most cringiest to way to end a horror time. Minecraft map possible. Like we're not kids. I actually think that those suggestions are a great way of ending a story of the game. 
I mean, who would have expected that shit if that actually happened? Like this treehouse was also a big part of the story. That would be cool. I mean, yeah, that has a good point, actually. If we were just way too focused on the game and not care about every single detail, then I am sure that would become a huge surprise even for us. I'm back from the start, boys. The limo area. Yeah, you guys should just shut the fuck up because I can write up a better way to end a horror Minecraft story than those that you suggested. So why don't we just climb up this tower and get this shit over with? What the hell do you think we've been doing for the past hour, Donald? Why don't we slow down and take a look around? And what the hell am I doing again? I kind of forgot. Where the heck am I? The more you speak, Joe, is the closer you're sounding to Donald Duck from that one cartoon show I always watch. And why the hell is this game keeping us from progressing? I, to climb I swear to God, this game just wants to put all of their players in the same comfort zone as each and every one of them. Do they want to empower physical I touch or something? To or like the power of friendship type of shit? I am so over this, but did you just say the power of friendship, Barack? That would actually work for me. I mean, you know that I am a big fan of that concept, right? We will use the power of friendship to beat this map. And I'm going to use the power of my fist to beat the shit out of you if you don't shut the fuck up with those cringy ass lines that I have to keep listening to you. Especially that power of friendship lines. You have to stop that. Looks like someone's mad. Come on, Donald, don't be shy. I know you want to be in the group and do it with us. No harm in being honest over here. I won't stop you from that wonderful experience. You're so welcome. Yeah, like hearing you say that actually helps us progress in this damn game. It makes me just want to quit and do something even worth my time than this bullshit. I could even be doing my secret campaign right now. Who knows how long this rain is going to last? This shit is going to keep raining, and we ain't going to be able to see where the hell we're supposed to go because this game is not letting us leave this place. Yeah, this is so rigged. Joe must have paid the developers of this game to mess with us, Barack. I am so I convinced that was the thing that the happened tower. because no way this would normally happen to me. No way. Or yes way, because look at where the hell you are right now. Does it look like I am the one restricting you from going out a certain area? No, because even I can't go out. So this is clearly not my doing, or at least I don't remember that plan. Yeah, that would make sense too. I mean, you're not even that smart to pull that shit off anyways. Now boys, hurry up and get to me already, because I Hello. think I found the progress area. A new text log appeared when I walked through here. Oh wait, did you guys read the bottom red text that appeared on your teleprompters? Because I did. The reason why we're so fucking slow is because we're bleeding to death. We have to find a doctor, an ice cream doctor I now, can. please. Yeah, I don't think they're gonna help us, Sleepy Joe. I mean, they would help us, but not in the good way. They'd help us get diabetes, that's for sure. 100% what your doctors would do when they see you, Joe. Yeah, I don't even need to see the receipt of the medications that Joe received from those ice cream doctors he has around his house. The medication slip might just be a cup of vanilla ice cream every mealtime, three times a day or some shit. Hey, why don't you shut the fuck up and stop dissing my ice creams doctors before I ask you a question? And not just any question. A question that would surely kick your ass and make you shut up. Boys, we don't have time to be arguing amongst ourselves right now. We have to find the doctor. He might be inside this house. Quickly, let's find a way to notify the sleeping neighbors that we need help. Burning their houses down to the fucking ground is the best way to do that right now. And I don't think you guys will be able to convince me otherwise. Wake up sleepy heads and help me with my wound or I'm about to die. Yeah, like, can you guys spare us some of your time? We won't even be much of a bother. We swear on our ice cream favorites. Mine would be choco vanilla matcha ice cream covered in whipped cream. If I die, I'll become an ice cream ghost. I don't think anyone wanted that information out of you, Sleepy Joe. I mean, no one would want to know your favorite if they knew that it would be a weird combination of shit, especially with the matcha. I mean, yucks. No one cares about what you guys freaking like, and it's going to be the same because no one cares if we're going to die outside their houses right now. We have to wake them up or find a way to get some bandages. Only if I wasn't this slow and moving around, then I could have possibly found a ladder at this point if I just remember where the hell am I right now and where the heck I'm supposed to go. What the hell am I doing again? What the fuck is up with you and your damn timing with your dementia, Sleepy Joe? Someone please open up and heal me. I'll pay you with exposure because I'm the most greatest person alive in the world. I don't think anyone would be interested in that shit, Donald, especially if they're leaving in the middle of nowhere and in the medieval times. There would be no wife and social media and shit by this day in Minecraft. Uh, guys, I think I might be lost and I think I might have become a mermaid like Ariel in that movie. 
I swam across the entire sea and I didn't see anyone that would be of help. They're hiding. Where the hell are they? I'm more concerned on how the hell did you manage to swim with those effects in your body right now. We have fatigue, bro, and hunger, and we move slow as fuck. How the heck did you even survive and do that? I think it might have been something to do with the power of friendship and the power vested upon me by the voters that I knew. And I still am thankful to them because they granted me these powers. Perks! Yeah, shut the fuck up, asshole, because no one is proud that they voted you. I bet everyone right now is regretting that very specific Hello. decision and I, wish that I, they elected me I instead. Well, stop being so cringe, bro. Neck. How about we shut the fuck up, Donald, and listen to what they have to say? Something We're all gonna die anyways if these people don't end up helping us right now. I need to We're bleeding to our freaking deaths. Wait, I think something bad Just is happening in this I place. Why the hell did it turn into us helping these people? You guys are supposed to serve for me and heal my wounds, not the other way around. This has got to have something to do with the missing ice cream I left in my freezer earlier this morning. Maybe these people took it now karma got them and we have to help them or something like that. You better be kidding me right now, Sleepy Joe. The way you're piecing the puzzles right now is equivalent to how a one-year-old kid would solve an alphabet or shape puzzle. It won't fit, but they'd force it to work. Haha, -ha, that seems to sound about right. But where the hell are we going? We really have to find some kind of medics from this place. We don't have time to be Scooby doing this place. If I was given a chance to be part of the Scooby gang, I would definitely be that dog. That dog was so cool that he can unintentionally solve the puzzle without even trying. And we're finally at the back of that crib. Maybe we can get in here somewhere. You being Scooby-Doo is the best thing and the most accurate thing that would ever happen in this world. I mean, you match his dumbness and the amount of clumsiness he could possibly offer. He can't even pronounce his R's. I think you have it the other way around, Donald. The only thing Scooby-Doo can pronounce are R's. And nothing else, I think, ha-ha. That would fit Sleepy Joe very well. And where the hell are we supposed to go now? Uh, guys, I think we have to be back here. I, I just picked up that axe that was lying on that tree stump around that campfire we went through earlier. And now I have the axe. I can finally ask you a question. Shut the fuck up, Sleepy Joe. How many times have you made that dumb joke already? It's getting out of hand. Ha ha, get it? Because you know you use your hand to hold the axe. And yeah, pretty funny, right? Anyways, hurry up and come back here. That was actually kind of pretty depressing, Donald. I mean, seeing that you had to explain your whole ass corny joke makes it two times more depressing. Ha ha. Let's just hurry up and use that axe to break down that door, Joe. Oh, where and what house are we talking about again? I can't seem to remember which one is which. I might end up breaking all of the houses around this block. What am I doing again? Why do I have an axe with me? I owe chill, sleepy Joe. Come here. This is the one we're talking about. Hurry up and use that axe and axe that door a question. Whoa, it worked. Uh, hello? Who the hell are you? Can you please help us? We just need something to eat and some bandages. Holy shit, what are you doing and what the hell are you even in the first place? This is actually scary, but it's kind of creepy. But I have a good feeling about you, kind sir. You might have the ice creams that I'm looking for. Holy shit, what the hell is this guy doing? This looks like some black magic type of shit. Look at that guy. He's worshiping something that shouldn't even exist. Just look at that poster. Fuck this, we have to get out of here already. Wait, wait, just check everything in this house, bro. This is just sad. This is infuriating. I checked the damn freezer, and he doesn't even have ice creams in it. What the hell is the purpose of your damn freezer if it don't got them ice creams? Ah! What the hell did just happen, Sleepy Joe? And why the hell are you a ghost right now? What happened to you? And I'm not gonna lie. I didn't expect that level of jump scares in this game. That was unexpected. Where the hell did it teleport us? I was just in the bedroom earlier. Oh, wait a teddy, a cute, cute little teddy. Can I pet you, teddy bear? Don't worry, I am not the boy in the toy story. You can move as you see fit now. Okay, what the hell is going on in this place? This has to be in Poltergeist Ghost that needs some exorcism to be dealt with. The next thing we know, we're in a white hall way out of nowhere. Shit, we have to get out of here. Hurry and get to the chopper. I mean that Teddy, holy shit. The hallway behind us just disappeared. We teleported into a whole ass new location. That was actually pretty dope, actually. How did they do that? I told you that this shit is actually kind of cool. I mean, I got Donald impressed by it too. TikTok really did give us a good game to play with on Minecraft. This is getting scarier the more we play it. We can stop now. I don't want to keep changing my undies. More importantly, you guys are still see-through, and yeah, I might have to agree to you on this one, Sleepy Joe. 
That transition from that hallway to this place was actually stone cold. That got you rock hard Barack, didn't it? Because that got you sounding like a whole ass game developer trying to judge the properties and a concept of the game. And why the hell am I walking so slow? Yeah, all that dumb talk with you, Donald, made you forget that you're fat as fuck. That's probably why you're taking the slow to walk. You got the whole ass house leaning to the damn left the way you're doing it now. Hey, that has to be some kind of violation that you just crossed Barack the way you just said that. I ain't even gonna be mad at you because that was a good one. Now just where the heck are we? Is this a maze of some sort? Just how big is this damn house? This actually reminds me of the Hello Neighbor we played under the sea where all the SpongeBob's were chasing the shit out of us. Okay, I don't actually know if you have dementia right now, Sleepy Joe, or you're just dumb as fuck. You got me dizzy by figuring out what the heck you just said. Mixing up two concepts in different games is a whole level of stupidity. By the way, I think I found the exit. Hurry up and turn around, Sleepy Joe. I think that hallway was just an endless loop. So we just turned around and got out of that damn endless hallway. Maybe we can do something out here. Find the exit or something. Turn around, you say? Is this even the right way to go? I don't even remember walking down this hallway. Did we really went through here? Because I kind of want to keep doing that hallway back there. Yeah, that's so easy for you to say, considering the fact that you're freaking immortal and surviving while walking around that endless loop of a hallway is as easy as breathing for you. So count me out, you ancient living fossil. Hey, being immortal does come with a prize, and that would be me seeing each and every one of the things I love disappear. I once loved a monkey, and now she's gone. Forever. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Is this a confession that you're doing right now, Sleepy Joe? Can you please save it to a podcast or something? I don't want to sit through this nonsense. More importantly, why did you love a monkey? Love doesn't let me choose, Barack. I might be forgetful, but I loved her as much as I loved Obunga. Anyways, where the hell am I? I don't remember being in this place, and I think I'm holding a cucumber right now. Where? Let me see, Mother Trucker. You don't even know what the hell a cucumber and a cactus is? Did you really even went to school at all, Sleepy Joe? Because this has me questioning the entire educational system of our country. Hey, don't talk to our graceful country like that. This is a cucumber and you have to turn the sea into green to convince me otherwise. If that won't happen, then this is really a cucumber and that's a fact. Believe what the hell you want, dumbass. Because I ain't turning the sea into a green pile of shit like your cucumbers you're holding right now. Bitch, those are cactuses. Learn something or two for God's sakes. That actually got me into questioning myself if those were really cactuses or those were actually cucumber that Joe is holding. This is crazy. The gaslighting powers are way too much that I almost forgot which is which. If that worked on you, Barack, then I can actually call you and be happy to tell you that you belong to the most dumbest person in the world candidates. This is making me so pissed right now. Just shut up and find the exit. Hey guys, uh, I kind of found a white room with a bed in it. Just a bed. No toilets or toilets paper or something. This looks like a prison cell for the bad guys, to be honest. Come here and check this shit out. Yeah, I wonder why the hell that would be there. Especially with the looks of the layout of this house that we're in. A long ass hallway with a room that filled with the color white and just a bed in it. That would make no absolute sense. Maybe we have to wait until it's nighttime so that we could progress and wake up out of this place. That would actually make sense, but the problem is that it's not letting us sleep. So why the heck would this be in here? Yeah, and by the time we wake up, we're out and away from this building, and it was all a dream because we have a high fever right now. Everything would be all right when we finally wake up. I would be so pissed if that was the entire plot of this story because I ain't want to do something with games like those endings. I'm way too invested right now for that to be its ending. Like, no way. Ah! What the hell just happened? My entire teleprompter just up and went to turn into a pitch black screen. That actually scared the shit out of me. What the hell is happening in this place? We have to get out of here quick. Uh, do you see what I'm seeing? A black figure is down that hallway and it's trying to get us or something. I just know it's bad news bears from this type of vibes it's giving me. Shit, we have to get out of here. Yeah, I agree. We have to get out of here quickly. Shit, I'll try and go out from that endless hallway you guys hated. Oh wait, shit. I think I just got teleported. What the fuck is going on over here? Please, boys, hurry up and help me. Fuck help. Shit crap. Where the hell are we right now? What is up with this place? And do you guys see that black figure waiting at the end of this red carpet? Let me get a closer look at him. He might be able to let us out of this place. Uh, I think something is wrong with your vision, Donald, or you're just starting to see things right now. That isn't what it looks like. I think it's something else. It might be a nuclear weapon or something. 
Yeah, I don't think so, Barack, because I clearly see a guy doing some ballet tricks right now, spinning in an endless loop of circles, doing a I am number one type of pose. And this is actually scaring the shit out of me. Do we have to get to him? What the hell is going on in this place? This is starting to give me the creeps. It might be because the plot is weird as fuck, and it's not even telling us much of details about the lore of this game. Oh, wait, guys, I think there's something more down here. What the hell is this black box that we're in? Someone would die trying to study down here. This would drive you mad. This is absolutely wrong and creepy. Holy shit, the knife was gone. I was about to grab it too so that I could finally have something to defend myself when shit goes south. But yeah, take that shit away from me like the good developer you are. Ah, what the hell just happened? It did it again. My teleprompter just turned into pitch black. Did we just kill somebody or some shit? Don't tell me that's what we did. Please, no. Oh my God, this is a corpse. Did we do this? No. Holy crap. We were the killer of this town all along. We didn't have to kill her, you know. Don't you dare turn me into your damn accomplice because I have nothing to do with your actions, my guy. Yeah, ain't no one taking me out to court and blaming that shit on me. I didn't do that, or at least that's what I remember. Uh, Joe, I think something bad happened with the game you recommended. Me and Donald right now are out and away from that room in a pitch black area. Did we glitch out or something? Either way, we can't do shit. What the hell do you mean? I'm doing just fine in this murder room right now. Where the hell are you guys? Oh wait, I think there you are. Maybe we just have something to do with this room. Yeah, this was bound to end at some point. Nothing could ever go right in a game that Sleepy Joe recommended, especially because he found it on TikTok. I knew it, this shit was rigged all along. All this time, wasted. Hey, don't talk to the game I chose like that. Just because your fat ass couldn't handle it doesn't mean that the game is at fault. Maybe it was you who they couldn't handle being in the game wrecked it. I mean, nothing could ever dream of handling the guns I'm carrying, if you know the Giats, I mean. But yeah, this was a shitty, crappy gameplay that you offered us, Sleepy Joe. You have to take some kind of responsibility. Or maybe we could just shut up for a while and try figuring it out. Maybe we just missed a click to interact button that would trigger us to be teleported to the next area. Or we could just blame the game devs. I don't think so. I mean, we could definitely sue the game developers for this one, making us have high hopes for it, then rigging it at the last minute of the game. This people be working for the government or some shit, sabotaging me and all that. Whoa, whoa, chill out, Donald. No one ain't suing any game developers on my watch. Maybe we did something wrong that caused that shit to happen. Maybe we have to grab this knife out and that would fix it. Yeah, like pulling that murder weapon out like a goddamn Excalibur from the time of King Arthur would fix this shitty-ass experience that I'm getting from playing a game that has been suggested by Joe That's from TikTok. Stop talking shit about this game, Donald. You can't deny the fact that you kind of enjoyed it. I can even compile it on my teleprompter the amount of times that you said you were invested in this game. That would end up being used against you in court, bro. False forging of evidence and that would end up giving you a whole ass time in the court and you just have to plead guilty and let me take your presidential spot, so be my guest. What the fuck are you even talking about right now, Donald? Is that how the law works in this country? I didn't even know those information. I have to rewrite the laws right now if that's the case. Just wait for a while, everyone. We might still be able to fix this shit. I don't want to leave this game like that. The plot was literally hanging off the cliff and it was getting good too. Yeah, fuck that shit, boys. This was a shitty experience and I can't take this anymore. I might end up breaking and throwing my $100,000 set up in my bedroom, so don't talk to me again and goodbye. Wait, Donald, don't go. Oh my God, did he really just rage quit? Oh, fine, this must be goodbye for now, Barack. What a waste. Goodbye, bud, till next time. Make sure to subscribe to our channel, President Multiverse, or I will build a fucking wall around your house as well. Thanks. Donald, are you threatening people again? Shut up or I will do...